you know, I'm going to give y'all the, uh, the scripture. All right, I'm going to read this. It's Isaiah, and this is Old Testament. This is Old Testament. I'm going to repeat this. This is Old Testament. Isaiah 48, verse 16 through 17. King James Version. Okay, this is reading off the King James versions. For all the people that go, I uh, only read the King James version only because that's the that's the that's the that's the right one. <laughs> man, oh man. Alright. It says, Come ye near unto me. Hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. This is God speaking, right? He said, I got God said, I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, there am I. Who is am I? I am that I am. That's the I am. He he is what he is. I am that I am, you know? He don't need he don't he don't need titles. He is who he is. God almighty creator of all creation. I am that I am. So he said he's been he he I have not spoken in secret from the beginning from the time that it was there am I. And now the Lord God, with a big G-O-D, and his spirit hath, hath sent me. Okay. Now this is where it's going to get a little trippy, right? Let's enter the mind of God. Let's enter the uh, such so-and-so complexity of the mind of God, right? What's so trippy about this verse is that if I just read it all together, which I am really quick, come ye near unto me, hear ye this, I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was, there am I, and now the Lord God and his spirit hath sent me. Hold on. The I am that I am is God but why and how can I am which is God send himself <laughs> you see I gotta catch on because where it says from the time that it was there am I and now the Lord God so it's referring to God Almighty, Almighty. It said the Lord God and His Spirit hath sent me. But that person that just said hath sent me, in the beginning part of that verse, has was saying, "Come, yea, near unto me." I have not spoken any secret from the beginning, from the time and time. There am I. So that person's calling himself. I am, but then when you continue it, it says, and now the Lord God and his spirit has sent me. So you have to look at that verse and you know, it's good to look at that verse as I'm reading this out loud so you can read it for yourself. I might just put post it right here, but this person that says God has sent me just called himself the am I or the I am. But then at the same time, they're saying that God sent that I am down. But the I am is God. You see, this is where it gets trippy. And then it goes to say, verse 17, Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am. I am the Lord thy God which teacheth thee to profit 
which leadeth thee by the way that thou sh shouldest go. Again, after it says, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God. There's no other person that is called the I am. The I am that I am. There's no other person like that. So really, that verse 16, you know, to sum it all up really quick, that verse 16 is really telling us that <laughs> Jesus Christ is the I am. And the I am sent Jesus Christ down here to redeem us. I know it's a little trippy. I know it's like a little mind-boggling, or it's like a, a it's like a mental, you know, it kind of messes with you mentally, because these are complex ideas. This is this is what where maturity comes in. This is where understanding comes in. And some people might not even get it. Some people might not even be able to listen to it. Some people it might go one ear right out the other. But what I'm saying is, look at that verse, study it, understand it, reread it, you know. So I'm going to leave you out with that.